What is a bridge and bridge types in networking? A bridge is a network device used to divide a large network into smaller, more manageable segments or to connect multiple networks together. It operates at the data link layer 2 of the OSI model and makes intelligent decisions based on the MAC addresses of devices. By analyzing and forwarding traffic only to the intended segment or device, a bridge helps reduce congestions, improve performance and manage traffic more efficiently. How bridge works? A bridge monitors the data packets moving across the network. When it receives a packet, the bridge looks at the MAC address of the sender and the receiver to determine where to forward the packet. If the destination is on the same network segment as the sender, the bridge doesn't forward the packet. If the destination is on a different segment, the bridge forwards the packet to the correct segment. Filtering in bridge by knowing which devices are on which segments, a bridge can filter out unnecessary traffic and only send the relevant data to the correct destination, reducing network collisions. Traffic segmentation in bridge. Bridges break large, busy networks into smaller segments to optimize traffic flow. They keep each segment's traffic separate unless it's meant to travel across segments. And here is the real-world example of the bridge. Imagine an office building with two departments, the marketing team and the sales team, each using its own network segment. In this scenario, a bridge can be used to connect these two segments so they can share resources when needed. The bridge monitors traffic between these segments. If a marketing computer needs to send data to sales computer, the bridge allows the traffic through. However, if two marketing computers are communicating with each other, the bridge keeps the traffic within the market marketing segment, reducing congestion on the overall network. And here are three types of bridges. Transparent bridge. This is the most common type of bridge which automatically learns the MAC addresses of devices on each segment and forwards data accordingly. It is transparent because devices on the network don't need to know the bridge exists. It functions without any configuration from the devices. And second type is a source route bridge. And this type of bridge is commonly used in token ring networks. This type of bridge relies on the source device to determine the route that data packets take. And third type of bridge is wireless bridge. And this is a type of a bridge that connects two LAN or local area network segments wirelessly, often used to extend the range of a wired network or connect buildings wirelessly. And here is the comparison of bridge with switch, as some of you have noticed that they have similarities. Bridge and the switch serve similar functions. A switch is essentially more advanced and faster version of multi-port bridge. And switches are often preferred in more modern networks because they can manage a large number of devices more efficiently. In a summary, a bridge connects multiple network segments or networks, operating at the data link layer and making decisions based on MAC addresses. It reduces traffic by segmenting the network and only forwarding necessary traffic, improving performance. Months. Bridges are commonly used in both wired and wireless networks to extend coverage or link different departments or buildings. In essence, a bridge helps streamline communication with a network, keeping traffic organized and ensuring efficient data flow between connected segments. <music>